Today's video is another one in the progression of how I'm improving my own style and I'm inviting you guys to join me on this so you can see how I've done it and what it is that was one of my most recent purchases. And so today is all about these, the Stan Smiths, especially Stan Smiths in the gum sole. Okay, so let's talk about how I landed on these shoes, why I decided to even want to pick them up, and how that applies to you, because really that doesn't matter to you why I decided to buy something, unless I'm actually helping you figure out why you may decide you want to buy something. And so let me walk you through this process. As I'm going through and evolving my own style, as I'm trying to improve it, one of the things that I do is I pay attention to what other guys are wearing. It's not a revolutionary concept or totally mind-blowing crazy idea, right? And one of the ways and the most prominent places in which I do that is on Instagram. And I spend a lot of time on Instagram. I'm following a bunch of different guys. In fact, if you're just looking for menswear men who are worth following, just go check out my profile here and then go see the people whom I follow and give them a follow because there are a lot of guys who are doing a lot of really good stuff. Now, obviously I'm really biased in one regard, but some of the guys who I think are doing the best are some of the Beck and Rob guys and particularly Derek Blazard. And Derek is the one who finally made me decide to pull the trigger on Stan Smith's, which is kind of funny because in some of the photos that I actually decided I really liked the way that they looked, he's not even wearing Stan Smith's, he's just wearing some white Chuck Taylors, but, it's just a more elevated way of being able to dress up the same shoe. So over the last few months, I've pulled up this photo, this photo, a couple other guys' photos, and I kept seeing these. And what I loved about the way that I saw these shoes was that they were applicable in a ton of different locations. They could look really good over a pair of shorts if you were out on the beach somewhere. They could look really good if you were just dressed up in something that was kind of casual, a good Saturday outfit. And they could even apply incredibly well for some casual suiting. And so for me, with versatility being such a big component of my own wardrobe, I knew that I wanted to pick these up because I would be able to put them together with a bunch of different outfits. Now, I've had these for probably five weeks now and they're on my feet probably four days out of the week. Granted, that's a little bit stronger than what they will be as I go into it because part of it is the challenge for me is figuring out multiple ways in which I can wear these, especially so I can feel like I'm giving you guys a good review on them. So what I like about them, knowing what works for me and what hopefully will help you guys understand why they could potentially work for you is my two big archetypes are refined and rakish. And so sneakers with a suit, definitely something that leans more rakish but there's still an element of refinement, especially because the way that these are made is they're actually a leather upper. It's all wide, it's really simple. And one of the big reasons why I chose these is this little detail right here, that. Okay, now the classic Stan Smiths, all of this, including this up here, this is all green or blue, but I really like on these that they're just a simple gray suede. I also like that they're a little bit more classic by going with the gum sole on here. This just gives them a little bit of uniqueness without being over the top. It doesn't kill any of the versatility with them whatsoever. Okay, so knowing that those work really well with both the refined and the rakish archetypes, I've put together a few different looks throughout the weeks that I feel like work with these shoes really well and I've got three of them that I want you guys to check out. So let's roll this little edit and then after this is done, I'm gonna break down each one of these looks for you.
right, this first one, super simple. And obviously that's by design. And again, what I don't want you guys to think is that in order to dress intentionally, in order to have your clothing tell a positive story about you, that that means that your style has to be over the top or overly formal or anything else. You can have something really basic, like a pair of whitewashed denim jeans. These are from Mott & Bow. A simple hoodless sweatshirt. This is a blue one. This guy's from Frank and & Oak. And then just again, because I've got that refined archetype in me, that sweatshirt is being worn over a chambray button-up shirt. That one's from Beckett & Rob. And so you combine those three elements with a pair of Stan Smiths, and all of a sudden I'm wearing something that we shot this footage when we went and took the kids out for breakfast on Friday morning and I was totally comfortable, I was completely confident, and the nice thing is, is I knew that if I had bumped into somebody, whether it was a viewer or a client or somebody else, that I would not be embarrassed about what I was wearing. Nobody would see me as necessarily overly stylish, but if somebody found out that this is what I do for a living, they wouldn't be surprised by that either. And so it, it told the story that I wanted to, albeit in a very, very casual way. And casual is great when that's the kind of environment that you're going for. All right, look number two. Now this is where my own personal style evolution has been the most fun and I've seen the biggest challenge, and that is trying to really dress down something that's a little bit more refined. So let me break down this look for you. Uh, the first thing that I'm wearing is a long sleeve polo from Kent Wang. Now, they sent these to me. I'm gonna do a whole video, a whole fit check video on these just because I really enjoy these polos and I wanna give you guys a breakdown on what they're like. Those trousers are actually part of a suit. Now the reason that those can be split up and worn as a separate is because the pattern, because of the material, they're a wool, linen, cotton blend and because of the texture to them. There's a lot of texture in the way that those trousers are woven, and so you can get away with wearing those as a separate. Okay, so notice that the sleeves are rolled up, I'm going stockless, and so by combining those elements with the fact that it's a polo, those are things that make it a little bit more casual, but there's still a collar to the shirt, I'm still wearing a suede belt, and I'm still wearing leather shoes and suit trousers, slacks, that's what makes it a little bit more refined or a little bit more dressed up. And so this for me is a look that I'm actually pretty happy with. And this is one that I've continued to do a bunch of different times by wearing different trousers, different polos. And I feel like this is quickly becoming my kind of refined casual default. Now there are ways that I can figure out to improve that. Yeah, of course. And there are ways that I can prove the story that I'm telling on it. And I'll figure those out as I go. But for now, I'm actually really happy with how this looked and, and what this is turning into. Okay, and then for look number three, we take it even a step further. Now with this, we're definitely elevating the formality on it even more. So let me give you the breakdown of all this stuff. Other than the shoes, basically everything in here is some of my stuff from Beckett and Rob. So the jacket is a really cool wool linen blend from Laura Piana. This is from a couple of years ago. The trousers are really good cotton and uh, they're chinos, but they're dress chinos. They don't have belt loops, they've got the high waist. They're cut like trousers as opposed to five pocket pants. And so that automatically elevates the look a little bit more. And then it's being worn with a blue OCBD, one of the staples. And this, uh, one of the reasons why I really, really like this shirt is because it's got a tall collar on it. And so it doesn't want to just pancake all over my chest or all over my neck, but it actually stands up really well. So this is the kind of thing that I would absolutely wear to go to a business lunch with somebody. This is the kind of thing that I personally would wear if I were being interviewed by a podcast or if I were speaking on stage somewhere. Probably not something that I would wear if I were going to a, a job interview. It's certainly not something that I would be comfortable wearing in a church environment or something that requires more formality, nor is it something that I feel like I need to be wearing if I'm going to my kid's soccer game or if I'm going out with buddies because it's too dressed up for that. But when you know that you wanna do business casual and especially you wanna dress it down even a little bit more, like this is a perfect outfit for a casual Friday and the shoes help bring it down and make it look even more casual. And overall, the story that's told by throwing these Stan Smiths in here is that you or I, whoever it is that's wearing this outfit, we're wearing this because we want to, not because we have to. And one of the most powerful stories that you can tell with your clothing is that you have chosen to wear the things that you are because you want to be wearing them, not because somebody else is enforcing a dress code or making you dress a certain way. And that's especially the case when you're wearing something as dressed up as a jacket with a pair of trousers. If you can effectively tell people that you wear this because you want to, then the story that they're being told is that you're somebody who you fall within that refined archetype. You're somebody who has both the reason 
attention and the resources to dress up more than the average man. And that makes you a little bit more interesting to the people who are seeing you. Now, those are just three outfits and those kind of fall within very different levels of formality. I've played around with those a little bit. Obviously, I'm not gonna recommend that you wear a pair of sneakers if you're really dressing up. And for you guys who fall really heavily rugged and you don't have much, if any, refined or rakish in you, then this may not be the right purchase for you. In fact, sneakers in general are probably not going to be as good for you as work boots or chukkas or something else. But if you like the idea of going a little bit more dressed down, a little bit more casual, having a style that's simple, having items in your wardrobe that are versatile, then go check these out. I would say these are definitely worth picking up. Again, not a sponsored video. I just was pumped to get these myself and I think that a lot of you guys will like those too. If you're interested, I do have a link down below for you to go check those out and pick them up yourself. Now, if you've gotten to this point in the video and you don't understand what I mean when I say words like rugged, refined, or rakish, I understand. And those are, those are very kind of specific terms to this channel in the way that I and my audience, we talk about style. If you want to learn more about what those mean and especially which one of those is most applicable to you, go take this quiz right here. It's like eight questions long and your responses are going to give you an answer that will tell you where you fall within one of those archetypes and it's going to give you an idea of how you should be dressing in order to tell the story that you want to in order to have your style actually improve your life. So I want you guys to sound off below. I want to hear whether or not you like these, what you think about the outfits that I put together. How would you wear these? Do you have these shoes in your wardrobe? If you do, what are you currently pairing them up with? In fact, if you already own these or you decide that you are going to pick up a pair, you start wearing them, snap some photos, put them up on Instagram, tag me on. I want to see what you guys are doing with this particular look and I will catch you guys on the next one.